Introducing the Pine 64. The Pine 64 is a fully expandable 64-bit quad-core single board computer with a 1.2 gigahertz 64-bit ARM Cortex CPU, two USB ports, an ethernet port, and a full 4K HDMI output the Pine 64 has everything you need to build your next project. Purchase the basic unit to run Linux or Android, or add on components to create your own custom computer. We're constantly developing new modules for the Pine 64 platform, such as a five megapixel camera, Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi card, lithium battery, or even an LCD touch panel, just to name a few. The Pine 64 also has two IO expansion ports, compatible with many other components, such as Z-Wave, Zigbee, and X10. For the price of a meal, the Pine 64 is a fully-fledged computer. It's versatile, it's modular, and it's uh, more powerful than uh, most of the competition on the market. We at OpenHub are excited about the endless possibilities that the combination of the Pine64 and uh, OpenHub can bring. So having really a board that works well with OpenHub is really a perfect starting point for many, many more users. And it means that smart home technology becomes more easily accessible for everyone. With access to over 1.6 million Android apps on the market today, the Pine 64 really can be your most affordable 64-bit computing platform. Run office apps, watch full 4K videos, stream from apps like Netflix, and play games or more. We're fully compatible with Android Lollipop 5.1, Ubuntu Linux, OpenHab, and more. Be one of the first to join the Pine 64 community. And with your help, we can create more modules and software to bring affordable computing to all. Would we have ever believed we would have this $15 supercomputer? No, I, I wouldn't have believed that. It's a big step just from the Raspberry Pi to the Pine. It's still hard to believe that it's so cheap. Jaguar Board is a standalone x86-based single board computer. You don't need to learn ARM for using it. Just enjoy it like playing with an x86 computer. Generally, Jaguar Board is designed for better performance on system scalability and compatibility. It can support 1 GB memory and 16 GB eMMC flash. Jaguar Board has a variety of interfaces. There are one network port, one audio port, three USB ports, one HDMI port, one TF card port, one power supply, four COM ports, two volume control buttons, and one switch. Jaguar board is based on x86 architecture. We have used low power consumption Intel CPU. This means more powerful capacity and faster speed than other single board computer. Besides, Jaguar board provides more options for operating systems. It's compatible perfectly with the mainstream versions of Linux. You can install Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora, Debian, and it can also support the latest Windows 10 and Android system. Basically, Jaguar board can be used as a mini PC. The first step is to connect it to an HDMI displayer, a keyboard and a mouse, then you can easily use it, just like playing with a PC or laptop, to play online games or work with emails and office software. Or you can turn it into a fantastic home theater PC. Use the board as a video box. Even more, using your imagination, you can make a mini Linux networking server, a temperature and humidity monitoring system, or even your own smart home system. Jaguar board is such a single board computer, similar to Raspberry Pi. But the difference is that it is based on x86 architecture with better performance. We hope to provide a cost-effective choice for all embedded system engineers, developers, DIYers and students. It may become more powerful with your secondary development. Hope you like it and enjoy the experience with Jaguar Board. Raspberry Pi's extremely cheap PCs. Like the others, this one is just $35, and it's probably gonna be even easier to use thanks to two of its new features. It now has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board. 
That's gonna be a huge help for schools because they won't have to wire up entire rooms with ethernet cables and they'll just be able to hook up a classroom over Wi-Fi. They're also really great for researchers. They'll now be able to have sensors send information over Bluetooth and have them all recorded and captured by the Raspberry Pi. It looks like they should be pretty complicated to use, but they're actually really easy to set up. Hooking up a Raspberry Pi is basically just plugging things into all of its different ports. You need to put a micro SD card into its storage slot, hook up HDMI so that there's a monitor, and then use micro USB for power. So even though there's Bluetooth on the new Pi, you'll still want to use USB just to get started while you're setting everything up. But once you are in the Pi, it's really easy to use. It's a pretty standard Linux computer and it comes preloaded if you're using something like Raspbian with uh, an office suite, programming tools, and even some advanced stuff like Wolfram. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth may not seem like big upgrades, but they're a big deal for the people who use Raspberry Pis, and they should make them much more capable as complete computers. Plus, the fact that they're still just $35 means it's probably going to be as popular as ever. Hi, Keith Starrus. I'm Lauren. And I'm Matt. We are the Latte team, and this is our latest product, the Latte Panda. We are makers. We love making and hacking things. But so far, we haven't found any suitable tools for Windows-based projects. So we created Latte Panda, a palm-sized, quad-core, full Windows 10 computer. And it runs perfectly with you. Using Microsoft Office, Playing high definition videos and running other Windows compatible software on the Latte Panda is exactly the same experience as using a regular PC. And it's way smaller. In fact, it's 40% smaller than an iPhone. But just like an iPhone, it includes Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Very affordable to run, using a regular 5 volt phone charger for power. To make it suitable for a wide range of user scenarios, Lati Panda also comes packaged with an Arduino compatible core processor. With existing open source APIs, you can build your own software or hardware projects and then share them to our community. We are a small team of engineers and hobbyists based in Shanghai, each with specific skills. Supported by DF Robot, we have an array of hardware and software resources at our disposal. We love tinkering with hardware, and we are very excited to share our creations with you. My name is Bruno Sinopoli. I'm a professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Carnegie Mellon. And I'm here to introduce the Kickstarter community with a groundbreaking project, Udo. With Udo, we want to combine the winning characteristics of Arduino and Raspberry Pi in one single board. The simplicity of Arduino in managing sensors, combined with the flexibility of a microcomputer based on ARM, are integrated in Udo, giving you a powerful prototyping board able to run Linux or Android. 
Hi, I'm Marco and I'm part of the team that developed the UDO board. In UDO, two ARM CPU live side by side with one gig of RAM memory. The board has the same pinout as Arduino Due, ensuring full compatibility. UDO has full HD video outputs with touch display support, Ethernet connections and Wi-Fi module. There are two mini USB for programming and debugging and two standard USB audio and microphone jacks. UDO also supports serial ATA hard drive and camera input. The operating system runs on micro SD and can be easily switched between Android and Linux. Hi, I'm Andrea and I'm an interaction designer. When we explored the concept behind a UDO, one of our main concerns was the target. UDO should be for everyone even for those people without a strong skill in coding and electronics, like me for example.